Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. If you find this video useful, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, for both health and environmental reasons, uh, I don't eat meat that often. Uh, however, I enjoy them and I usually have meat about once a week. Uh, I particularly enjoy eating beef uh, once in a while, and I find that stir-fried beef with vegetable is a good way to introduce a small amount of beef uh, into my diet. Uh, one nice thing about beef is that they're very easy to cook and they are very fast. So in this video, I'm going to introduce to you a basic stir-fried template for beef and to go with a onion and mushroom dish. Uh, so first, let me talk a bit about the best cut of beef to use for stir-fry. I find that the best cut is uh, what is known as the flank stick. Uh, this cut is relatively inexpensive, and they are tender and lean. Uh, however, they are not always available in all supermarkets. Uh, when I find them, I usually buy a two-pound package. Uh, after I brought them home, uh, I would slice them and divide them into four eight-ounce packages. Uh, for slicing beef, uh, I would recommend a 6-inch ceramic knife. It is the best knife for cutting meat. Uh, they stay sharp uh, for much longer than a steel knife. Uh, I have a ceramic knife that I have used it for 4 years, and I have not sharpened it. Uh, I store the sliced beef uh, in Ziploc sandwich bag, and they last for almost a year uh, without any noticeable change. Uh, I use the same method to prep other meats such as chicken and pork. Uh, this allows me to uh, have those meat available anytime I want. Uh, when cooking meat, uh, particularly beef, a high temperature is really important. Uh, cooking oil plays a very important role uh, because the temperature of the cooking oil uh, determines how high the temperature you can have in your cooking. Uh, oil with a high smoky point is definitely preferable uh, because then you can reach a higher temperature. Uh, the amount of food that is being cooked is also an important factor uh, because if you have a lot of food in the wok, the temperature will go down. Uh, therefore, it is much better to cook a small amount of food at a time uh, unless you have a very powerful burner. The heat retention capacity of the wok is also an important factor, and this is the reason why cast iron is a superior cookware. Uh, when I cook beef, I always use my cast iron wok uh, because I want the wok temperature as high as possible when I add the beef to the wok. Uh, I also want the beef as dry as possible because any moisture associated with the beef will reduce the oil temperature. Uh, I always dust the beef slightly uh, with cornstarch uh, because cornstarch will pick up whatever moisture that might still left on the surface of the beef. Uh, cornstarch also will uh, help keep the beef moist and tender during stir-fry. Uh, however, you don't want to put too much because you don't want the beef to taste starchy. It is important to get the oil as hot as possible, uh, as much you can close to its smoking point. Uh, however, at the same time, uh, you don't want it to get too hot because you don't want to fill your kitchen with oil film. Uh, if you don't pay close attention, uh, you might set up your smoke alarm. Uh, to maintain a delicate balance, uh, I usually turn my heat setting to low as soon as I detect a whiff of smoke coming from the oil. Uh, I let it smoke for about 15 seconds. Uh, this is the time when the oil seasons the wok as well. Uh, I then turn the stove back to high uh, just before I add the beef uh, to the wok. Uh, do not marinate the beef as suggested by uh, some of the recipes uh, because any fluid associated with the beef uh, will reduce the oil temperature and affect the efficiency of stir-fry. Uh, so the rule of thumb to remember uh, is to keep the oil temperature as hot as possible. Anything you add to the wok that will reduce the oil temperature, you should avoid. Uh, so in this cooking session, I'm going to cook 8 ounces of a sliced flank steak. Uh, I really enjoy cooking beef uh, in the wok because everything happens so quickly. Uh, you need to stir fry efficiently and rapidly. Uh, it is really important for the beef to cook fast uh, because the heat will uh, sear the meat to retain the moisture and flavor. Uh, this is a time for you to exercise your elbow and your wrist uh, to keep turning and stirring. Uh, I cook the meat to about medium rare and it only takes about 45 seconds. 
Uh, obviously, the cook time may be different uh, depending on how well you want to cook the beef, as well as uh, the heat of your burner. Uh, after I transfer uh, the beef and set them aside, uh, next I'm ready to cook the next part of this dish, which is the onion and the mushroom. Uh, you may ask, uh, why don't you cook everything together? Uh, the reason is that I want to have full control uh, of the doneness of the beef, which is critical. Uh, in fact, I find it easier to control the doneness of the beef uh, in comparison if I cook them on a frying pan or uh, over a grill. Uh, I'm going to cook the onion and mushroom directly in the wok uh, without washing it. Uh, actually, this is a good way for the onion to pick up the flavor of the beef. Uh, I used two cups of thinly sliced uh, yellow onion. Now, I have used both red onion and white onion before. Uh, I don't see there's much difference. Uh, there may be differences in other dishes. Uh, however, for this, yellow onion is cheaper. Uh, after stir fry the onion for about 10 seconds, I noticed that there is not enough oil to coat the surface of the onion, so I add more oil. Uh, I strongly recommend to use a, a squeeze bottle uh, for your oil. It's much easier than pouring from a regular bottle. Uh, I stir fry the onion for about one minute uh, until the texture is softened. Uh, I sometimes stir fry it a bit longer or shorter. It uh, depends on uh, my desired texture. Uh, next, I add three cups of portobello mushroom. I, I slide them to relatively large size uh, because I want to uh, have their distinct texture and flavor. Uh, I stir fry the content for about 30 seconds uh, until the texture of the mushroom is slightly soft. Uh, I next add uh, one quarter cup of uh, cooking alcohol. Uh, you can use water uh, to uh, soften the texture of the mushroom. Uh, I then add the cooked beef uh, back to the wok and stir fry the content and mix them. Now the dish is ready to serve. Uh, I did not season the dish because I'm going to use uh, it in a lettuce wrap and I'm going to add sauces directly to the wrap. Uh, as you can tell, uh, this dish is a combination of two templates. Uh, one is the stir fry beef template, another one is the stir fry mushroom and the onion template. Uh, it is easy to swap ingredients in either one of these templates and to create variations. Uh, in future videos, uh, I'm going to show you how to create variations from these two basic templates. Uh, please click the like button below uh, if you enjoy watching this video. Uh, this will help me to improve my visibility of the channel uh, as well as to reach a wider audience. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to receive notifications of my future video postings. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.